Congratulations to Chris Eubank Jr., man. The dude finally learned, um, you know what I'm saying? This man took that little stupid rainbow hormone patch off his arm. You understand? The man got down to business today, bro. He totally manhandled, um, you know, um, Liam Smith. You know what I'm saying? Really put him in his place, to be honest with you, bro. The man talked a whole lot of trash about Chris Eubank, you know, leading up into this fight. And uh, Chris Eubank showed him, you know, who the real one was. You know what I'm saying? To bounce back like that. To come back and a knock and, and the bro beats basically beat your beat your foe into submission. That's what I'm talking about, bro. You know what I'm saying, man? Took that stupid stupid hormone patch off his arm. He did. He got down to business. You heard me? Now let, let, let's address the, the the other thing in the room. Is that Bo Mac, bro? This man Bo Mac, bro, trainer of the year. He's he's bro. This man is stamping it left and right, bro. You know what I'm saying? Bo Mac is by far the best trainer in boxing right now. If you ask me, bro. For this man to 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 bro to take Chris Eubank from where he was at before this fight, in that short period of time, bro, to have this man, you know what I'm saying, stick that jab out there the way he did, you know, the synergy that both of them had. Bo Mac was well in tune with Chris Eubank. And um for the most part, bro, you could just see the the magnificent scale of adjustment that Chris Eubank applied into this fight. And to be honest with you, bro. I'm looking forward to seeing Chris Eubank Jr. and bigger and better fights going forward. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't want to see a trilogy, bro. I think that Chris Eubank proved enough in this, in this last fight that a, that a trilogy would be pointless, but I'm quite sure why I leave money on the table, somebody be willing to invest in a trilogy to settle the score. I believe it was already settled. I want to see what the fuss is about with Chris Eubank and um, Conor Ben. You know what I'm saying? I'm hearing Conor Ben supposed to be fighting Black Cobbs. Conor Ben is a um, Walt's weight. He's been out the sport for a long time. You know what I'm saying? You know, but I, I, I would like to see that matchup now. I think that that matchup is probably the best value matchup for Chris Eubank. I mean, what else really out there for him, bro? I don't see him fighting for any titles. You know, um, if he's going to go after the money, the best thing for him to do is go after is to go after um, Conor Ben. You know what I mean? Because after that performance, bro, I, I, I like what I saw, and I want to see more from Chris Eubank, but I think it's in his best interest to pursue money fights, you know what I'm saying? Because the legacy window has closed on him, I believe. But at the same time, bro, you never know, man. Bull Mac, bro, I think Bull Mac can, can take any fighter at any stage in their career, bro, and, and, and you know what I'm saying, allow them to, 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 to at least put up a, a, a good enough fight so that they won't get laid out like Chris Eubank suffered in this first fight, man. I'm kind of dragging on, but I think y'all get the point, man. Let me know how y'all feel about it in the box below. Make sure y'all smash the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Do all that good stuff for me. We'll be locking with y'all later. Peace.